basically fighting for the Iron Throne, which is basically to be king of these kingdoms. But despite these warring sort of factions and houses, um, there's a great threat from the north, um, from these creatures called the White Walkers, that the first men had to fight off thousands of years ago. And what's really cool is that uh, the summers last for years and the winters even longer. So it really sort of focuses on three main houses, the Starks, the Lannisters, and um, the Targaryens, and how they all move and interact. Um, and there are a, you know, a litany of other houses, but they have those sort of three core ones, you know, and House Baratheon, to be fair. And we're now going into season seven, and each season is ten episodes, each basically an hour apiece. So, very healthy series. And if you're just getting into it, you have quite a long uh, road ahead. What else? Um, yeah, but season seven's only going to have eight episodes. And season 8, which is the last season, may have only 6. But yeah, we're coming towards the end now. There are some really cool battles in it. You know, there's a lot of um, you know, violence, a lot of sex in it. But you know, it's all part of the universe and yeah, it's done tastefully. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, really worthwhile checking out. If you like fantasy, and I'm really looking forward to seeing um, you know, where the story goes in season seven, because each season has these great sort of pinnacle um, moments that sort of really pivot the storyline. Um, so you're never left, you know, going, "Oh, well, that was boring." Each episode brings something. Obviously, some seasons are better than other seasons, naturally. But yeah, you can get a good um, mix. Uh, but yeah, so assuming you don't mind some R-rated action, you should have a pretty swell time in the game of Rome's. <laughs> Music. And I'm a big 
great sort of storytelling in 70s and 80s, to be honest, great storytelling, great emotion, and then you hit the 90s, and then you hit pop, and then suddenly it dies away. In my humble opinion. Some of the TV shows I've been watching. What about films? What would my favourite films be? Well, straight off the bat, I have to say the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The Lord of the Rings trilogy were the only films I watched growing up. Obviously, I watched other films, but they really, I loved Lord of the Rings. Favourite character was Legolas, mainly because I was really into archery, I thought it was so cool. But you know, you know, this group of different sort of species going out fighting evil, fighting orcs. Oh, and I remember Gollum used to really scare me, really, really did freak me out, Gollum. But then again, so did Dobby the Elf Elf in Harry Potter, that little freak. Yeah, the Lord of the Rings, really good. Um, I wasn't a big fan of um, The Hobbit, you know. The Hobbit is a small children's book. Um, great story, don't get me wrong. But Peter Jackson decided to stretch that across three films. Three films. All each like 90, maybe even two hours a piece. So, plus they've come out with extended editions. So he's managed to make, let's say, seven hours from a 300 page book that is ridiculous and the result they made a lot of it up so unfortunately the hobbit is not great although i feel it had a lot going for it because martin freeman played an excellent hobbit in my opinion i thought it was really good uh, and it had ian mcgallan as gandalf but no lord of the rings is Disney I enjoy quite, you know, my childhood was uh, filled with a lot of Disney films, you know, Two Sisters, um, you know, Lion King, Mulan, oh, I love Mulan, Mulan is probably my favourite Disney film ever, such a great story, beautiful music, oh, you know, um, I'll Make a Man Out of You, oh, anthem, um, really good sort of uh, just quite moving, quite powerful as a film. What else? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's not a film on its own, but I really loved the films by Aya Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli. Beautiful. Now I enjoy manga and anime. I have a deep um, interest in you know this Japanese culture, and I'm not um, really experienced in it. But I grew up with Studio Ghibli films. You know, my dad got us them, and I was the only one to really like them. You know, Spirited Away, um, which is still up there with one of the best films of all time personally it's such a moving tale of this girl you know, really just finding her parents in this magical world and i feel magical can often be sort of bandied about and sort of misconstrued but it was truly this sort of ephemeral spiritual world um that she sort of um, meanders through um and navigates great really good but then there's, you know, The Cat Returns, Howl's Moving Castle, again, one of my favourites, you know, this roaming castle over the countryside, oh, amazing. So Cat Returns, Howl's Moving Castle, Borgo Rosso, you know, a big man flying plane, cool. Borgo Rosso, Borgo Rosso. Oh yeah, um, Nausicaa and The Valley of the Wind and Princess Mononoke. Superb films, each one is incredible. I recommend you watch all of them. You will honestly, they are incredible. Really, really good. Um, I'm trying to think of my other favourite films. My last one. My last one. 
the soul of my heart will go on by Celine Dion and I was enraptured by it. I loved it. Um, an embarrassing little story about me, a weird little child. We were on holiday in Florida. I was about seven. Um, and I sort of choreographed and danced the day my heart will go on. Yeah, again, ladies. This is what you could have. Um, yeah, I did that. So, yeah, I really liked the song, and then stuff, I heard it was from Titanic. And then, so one day after school, primary school, I was, you know, again, I was pretty young. Yeah, you know, mom goes, I oh, got you this. I went, Oh, what is it? And it was Titanic. And I was like, Whoa, it's three hours long, which, you know, for a child, that's quite a long period of time. But I remember sitting down and watching it and just loving it. It was a really good film. You know, I do like some like manly action films, but I also do like uh, Titanic. You know, um, Kate Winslet and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio are such a great um, pair of actors and it's great. And it's, it's really crazy when how much a difference chemistry makes on the screen. But it's such a dramatic and melancholy story, you know, the fact so many people died, the hubris of the ship designer and um, the sort of, the lack of um, lifeboats that really caused a lot of the catastrophe. And you can't imagine uh, what it would have been like, um, truly a horror, but a great, great film by James Cameron. They also directed Avatar. Uh, yeah. Oh, another good film, Saving Private Ryan. Good film as well. I remember going around to a friend's house again when I was young. And we sat, that's probably about 10, 9, 10. And he'd recorded it as so we were watching it. And I'll always forget the opening sort of, um, sort of, you know, the opening scene on uh, you know, D Day. It's, you know. Films like that can only uh, sort of portray a sort of a fraction of the reality of the horror that these people endured. And that's a great thing. I think about film, it enables to take stories, history, you know, concepts and explore it and try and help communicate it in a way that otherwise is pretty much um, unintelligible for most folk. So yeah, they're my favourite films and television shows, um, sort of meandered into the philosophical towards the end, but unfortunately it petered out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, um, I hope you all, you know, chilled out, and I hope you get some good sleep. Um, yeah, when I get back from skiing, the videos will be quicker, it's just unfortunate, well it's not unfortunate because I'm really looking forward to the trip, but it's just I kind of ill prepared. So that's my fault. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll correct that. But yeah, so yeah. If you want to keep up to date, like I say, yeah, my Instagram and Twitter and stuff, all down below. My app as well. Um, yeah, and also Patreon, cool stuff on that. It's all happening. It's a big month this month, so I hope you come around for the journey. But. I'm just glad you've made it this far in the video, so, lots of love, my friends, as always, good night.